Is this the best women's Louis Vuitton? Let's review a trap revs and find out. Hey, what's going on? Hunter here and welcome back to my channel. And if you are new, what I do is I make fragrance related content. So if you love fragrances, hit that subscribe button down below and also be sure to follow my Instagram page. But that's right, today we're reviewing another Louis Vuitton. However, this one is for the women out there. I had to show you guys some love as well because I've been on a Louis Vuitton kick. I've reviewed so many so far and this is the first women's review for Louis Vuitton. And it's probably the most hyped up popular one from the women's line. And that is, of course, none other than a Trap Revs. And I'm so excited to be bringing this one to you. Let's go over some information really quick. Now, a Trap Res was launched back in 2018, two years after the initial women's lineup. So it is one of the newer ones in that collection. As far as the retail prices go on the 100 ml like I have in hand, it is gonna run you $300, which is pretty expensive for a designer fragrance without a doubt. But however, what is nice is once you go through your bottle, just take it back to the Louis Vuitton boutique and they will refill it for you for over $100 off. I believe right now it is $190 for a refill. So you honestly cannot beat that. And I love that as an option, especially if this is like your signature scent, it will definitely save you quite a bit of money if you go through a bottle and you keep refilling it. The concentration is an Eau de Parfum, which is nice because you are getting a little bit higher up perfume oils, which is always good, especially if you're paying a hefty price for a bottle such as this. Now the perfumer, which is one of my favorite perfumers of all time, quickly becoming number one is Jack Cavalier, who's the Louis Vuitton in-house perfumer and has created all of their fragrances and fragrances outside of Louis Vuitton for like Tom Ford and things like that. So he's a master perfumer and he knows what he's doing when it comes to fragrances. With all that information out of the way, let's go look at the packaging and presentation you get with a Trap Res now. All right, taking a look at the box, and you might notice this is a box for a Meteor. I do have the Attrap Res box, but I cannot find it. It's hidden somewhere. I have so many boxes cluttered, unfortunately, but it's the same exact thing. Of course, you have Louis Vuitton. This is like a recycled cardboard, which isn't necessarily the most luxurious thing. Even though when you buy it at the boutique, you will get it in that Louis Vuitton classic box that you will find on the top left of my bookshelf, so that is nice. This is, of course, like I said, Eau de Parfum 100 ml. On the bottom, you will have your barcode and batch code to authenticate your product to see when it was produced. And then on the back, you have kind of your ingredients and some information. And then you open it up on the side. You do have this Louis Vuitton cylinder. On the top, you do have the LV. In a trap res, it will come in gold rather than gun metal. And then you open up like so, and your fragrance will be housed in here very, very snuggly. So all in all, the box and the presentation is decent. Let's look at the bottle now. All right, take a look at the bottle, which is one of my favorite designer bottles of all time. I love how simplistic, elegant, and classy these things look. Of course, you have a Trap Revs in black, Louis Vuitton embossed in the glass. On the bottom, you actually have etched in, rather than a sticker, all your information as well, which is nice. On the top, you do have that Louis Vuitton logo in gold for the women's line. Nothing inside of the cap, nothing on the atomizers. And these are, of course, sprays. I know a lot of people look at these and think they are splash bottles because you can't see the stem inside because it is invisible. So that is the beautiful packaging and presentation with the bottle. And these are magnetic caps that are very, very strong. In the top, you have lychee, ginger, and bergamot. In the mid, you have peony, rose, and cacao. And in the base, you have patchouli, and this will be classified as a sweet floral. So let's spray this and test out the atomizer. Very good atomizers with these Louis Vuittons and nothing to complain about. So let's go ahead and smell a Trap Revs now. Right away when you spray a Trap Revs, you are going to get a burst of this watery, fruity lychee note, which does resemble something like Parfums de Mali Delino, which is also lychee heavy. I used to have a bottle of Delino, which my ex actually took, so I can't really compare them side by side, but you will get that similarity to Delino, which is probably the most popular niche fragrance for women. However, this is not a clone. It just has a similar lychee note in the top. But if you are a fan of lychee fragrances and you're a woman watching this one, I think this is a must try, especially within the Louis Vuitton house as well, because the lychee is so high quality. I cannot talk enough about how high quality these Louis Vuitton fragrances come across. They're so natural, so authentic smelling. Do not smell synthetic whatsoever. It definitely does come across smelling like a $300 fragrance. It does not smell cheap at all. You also have that ginger and the bergamot in the top along with that lychee. However, that lychee is so strong that it kind of overtakes those two other notes. That ginger note might be there, 
and Jack Cavalier does a great job with his ginger. You might get that zestiness and a little bit spiciness from that ginger as well, but that lychee is so dominant. Once you make your way into the mid of a trap res is where it becomes very floral from the peony and the rose, which both work flawlessly combined together. One doesn't necessarily take over the other. And for me, I love rose. However, that peony does make this fragrance very, very feminine smelling. And what also does resemble Delina as well is that peony and rose kind of combination. But where this fragrance goes a complete different route to Delina is with that cacao note, which actually does come across a ton, even on my skin. When I wore this one, I got a ton of this chocolatey, powdery cacao note, and it started to take over the floral notes, which I love. That was probably one of my favorite parts of this whole scent profile and made it stand out so much and extremely unique when it comes to this kind of DNA that is well known for women especially. So if you're looking for that DNA, but something a little bit different and stands out, a trap res is for you because yeah, that cacao note is so prominent. Not so much right now when I'm smelling it, but on skin and it dries down, yeah, you get a burst of it. It's a little bit gourmand smelling. So once we finally get into the base of a trap revs, you are still gonna get some of those floral notes, still that cacao note as well. But what comes out very, very heavy is the patchouli. Now, patchouli to me is one of my favorite notes of all time. And that's why the base is my favorite part of this entire fragrance for being a man at least. Because it was the note that I resonated the most when I actually wore this fragrance, the patchouli. Because patchouli is very earthy, very green. And I think it just works flawlessly in this whole scent profile. If you are familiar with Coco Mademoiselle by Chanel, which is probably my favorite Chanel for women, to be honest with you, that was like one of the first feminine fragrances that included patchouli as a note that is also heavy in patchouli on the dry down. So it does resemble that fragrance as well. So if you're a fan of Mademoiselle, you're a fan of Delina, this is a fragrance that you absolutely have to try and you probably will fall in love with it. And I personally think this fragrance is more complex than both of those. Jack Cavalli pretty much took the DNA of those and just mastered it and made it perfect. So just to break down the scent profile once again from the top, mid, and base. In the top, you're going to get a burst of this fruity, kind of watery lychee note that dries down to a floral kind of bouquet of peony and rose with this powdery gourmand chocolatey cacao note and dries down to a nice earthy patchouli base. A Trap Revs is the Louis Vuitton I would recommend the most to women if they just want to get one fragrance as a signature that is crowd pleasing because that's exactly what this fragrance is. It's easy going, it's enjoyable, it's likable, and you really can't go wrong with this scent profile. However, I do also have another one from Louis Vuitton, which is a very dark, daring fragrance that is probably my favorite personally for myself. But on a woman, I love a Trap Revs. Let's talk about the best seasons and occasions to wear a Trap Revs. This one comes across very versatile. You can wear this one in the colder months like fall and winter. You can also wear it in the hotter months such as like spring and summer. Just because of how like watery the top is and then it dries down, of course, being floral, which is perfect for the spring. But you also have the cacao and patchouli, which makes it good for like the evenings or even cold months in the fall and winter. So you can wear this one all year, all season long as a signature scent easily for occasions as well i think it is pretty versatile even though it might lean slightly on the more casual side you could however still dress this one up if you're wearing a nice dress or you're going to work in an office this one works even if you're going on a date in like the evenings as well you can pull this one off if you're like feeling yourself you're dressing nice in a nice dress this one a guy would absolutely fall for guys love this hand profile with delina mademoiselle they can't get enough of it. So yeah, this one will pull a ton of compliments too. For gender and age groups, of course, the Trap Revs leans on the far feminine side. It's a very classy, feminine fragrance, fruity, floral, fresh. There's nothing masculine about it pretty much at all, besides slightly in the dry down where obviously I wore this one because I had to test it and obviously review it for you guys. But I would not recommend a guy wear this one in my opinion. But at the end of the day, you can wear whatever you want, wherever you want, however you want. But just when I smell this, definitely a feminine pro scent profile. For age groups, however, this one does lean on the youthful side. It's not really mature. And when I think of this scent profile, I think of a girl maybe in her 20s, my age, not necessarily like 40s or 50s and up. It's a very youthful smelling fragrance. Maybe like a classy younger lady is the vibe I get when I smell this. That doesn't mean if you are older, you can't pull this one off, especially if you still feel young, you're still like young spirited. You can pull this one off still, but 
Just in my head, it does lean on the youthful side. There's much better options, even from Louis Vuitton for more mature women, such as like Spell On You is a very elegant, mature, feminine fragrance. Now wrapping things off on the performance, for me on my skin, I got about average performance, which means around eight hours of decent longevity on my skin. I honestly don't really have many complaints from Louis Vuitton besides maybe some from the Cologne collection. However, Trap Revs was still what I expected coming into it from being a Louis Vuitton is average performance. For projection though, this one is very, very solid. So if you're a woman watching this and you want your fragrance to project like crazy, you will enjoy this one because that lychee top note bursts off of the skin very nicely and leaves a beautiful, elegant scent profile and scent trail behind you when you're walking around and everybody will smell you and pick up on your fragrance. And I'll honestly tell you, you'll smell like the classiest woman in the room, hands down. That's gonna do it for my review of one of the best women's fragrances from Louis Vuitton. Let me know down below if you've ever tried this one. What is your favorite fragrance from Louis Vuitton, especially the women's collection? If you're a girl watching this, I'm very curious about that. And also let me know if you want me to review more women's fragrances from Louis Vuitton because like I said, I do have another one that I would love to review and it would be more for like the daring women in my opinion. So leave a like down below if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see all of you back here in my next upload. Take care everybody.